Back in uh, 2010, NASA launched its uh, its Solar Dynamics uh, Observatory, and uh, this satellite was launched basically to study more into our sun. And uh, according to this uh, this book I got a few months ago, 15 million degrees. It's about the sun by Professor Lucy Green. But she says in her book that this uh, this one satellite collects more data in a week about our sun than the Hubble Space Telescope generates in a year for the rest of the universe. So they're collecting a lot of data, a lot of information about this dominant star in our solar system. And it is dominant. The uh, Solar Dynamics Observatory, this is in uh, Professor Green's book, it has literally expanded our horizons and even shown that the atmosphere of the sun reaches out to a staggering 18 billion kilometers beyond us. That's 120 times further out than the Earth's orbit. And she says here, we are living, we are living in the sun's atmosphere. So here is this massive dominant star, and it it literally gives life to planet Earth. In her book, she says, not only does sunlight allow us to see, but it made our rocky planet habitable for millions of species of animals and plants. It grows our food, it drives our weather, and it can even be utilized to generate electricity to power modern society. Sunlight is amazingly versatile, but above all, there is something about sunlight that That means it is able to keep us alive. We literally could not live without it. We we couldn't live without the sun. Everything about our physical lives, everything about our planet, revolves around the sun. Now let me just take you through a couple of psalms, well, and hopefully uh, a few other passages as well. Because there's a, there's a valuable spiritual lesson in this for us as well. 